What's up, my beautiful viewers and subscribers? What a go on? Enough respect and welcome to another video. In today's video, I am going to be talking about how to calculate the quantities for the amount of tiles and the quantity for your roofing material as well as the amount of square that is in your roof. But I'm going to begin the presentation by looking at the calculation for the quantities of tiles. So here we have this floor space of 20 feet in width and 30 feet in length. So in my estimation, this is the typical size of a living room. So I'm going to be working out the amount of tiles it is going to take to cover this living room. So let's start. So the amount of tiles, so the number of tiles is going to equal to the area of floor divided by the area of tiles. So we know that tiles comes in various sizes. Previously, I think you could get 12 inches by 12 inches tile. I think you still can get those size tiles. But based on what I've seen now, tiles are much bigger and, and many people are utilizing bigger size tiles. So we have tiles of sizes of 16 inch by 16 inch we have 18 inches by 18 inches tiles and we have 24 inches by 24 inches tiles but for this presentation i'm going to use the 16 inches by 16 inches tiles which are these tiles here which is this size here, 16 inch by 16 inch. Now to calculate the area floor, so you can work out the amount of tiles either in square inches or in square feet. So I'm going to do both demonstration to show you that it comes out to be the same amount or the same quantity. So the amount of tiles is equal to the area of floor, which is 20 feet by 30 feet. So this is 20 feet by 30 feet, which equal to 600 square feet. And we are going to use 16 by 16 inches tile. So the area of tile is going to be 16 inches divided by 12 times 16 inches divided by 12 right and that works out to be 600 square feet over 1.77 so you divide 16 inches by 12 to carry to feet which is 1.33 feet and 1.33 feet times 1.33 feet is 1.77 square feet. And that works out to be 338.5. And you can round this up to 339 tiles. So it is going to take 339 tiles to tile this area of 20 feet times 30 feet which is 600 square feet now i'm going to work it out in inches in square inches so the area is going to be 20 times 12 inches times 30 times 12 inches and this works out to be 86,000 
400 square inch. Remember, we're working in square inch now. And 16 by 16 inches. So this is 16 inches by 16 inches. And that works out to be 256 square inch. And when you divide 256 square inch into 86,400 square inch, you're going to end up with 338 tiles. So basically the same thing. I think the rounding of the decimal because this 16 inches is really 1.33 times 1.33. So the rounding of that probably make, makes a difference. So I'm going to use the upper figure of 339 times. So 339 times, 338 times. And remember, we have to round this up from 338.5 to 339. So it's basically the same thing. 338, 338, right? Now, tiles carries a breakage factor of 5% because you do not want to spend your financial resources and go to the hardware and buy the exact amount of tiles because you're going to end it up end up with tiles which are going to be break so some of them are going to break so you want to account for that breakage so you have to add one you have to add five percent to this three three nine tiles to know the amount of tiles to purchase to compensate for the breakage and that five percent so the amount of tiles is going to equal to 5% is going to work out to be 1.05 and you time that by 339 and that works out to be 356 tiles so you're going to purchase 356 tiles even though you know that it is going to take an exact amount of 350 39 times to cover this living room space on this side of the presentation I'm going to be demonstrating to you how to calculate the surface area of your roof in order to get the amount of square that is in your roof now you have to observe the roof plan and this is a depiction of a roof plan here it have it has a center ridge a and hip hip a center ridge and a hip rafter and a hip rafter so in order to calculate the the quantity of the surface area of this roof we notice the it has a width of 24 inches and a length of 34 inches and the distance from this point to the end out to the eave it is 12 feet 0 inches and the distance from this point out to the eave it is 12 feet so the eave is really typically 1 foot 6 inches so this is the inner part of your roof which represents the wall so if you should look at this roof in detail what you're observing is two main shapes you're observing a triangle which is this portion that's a triangle right there and it's also on the opposite side and you're observing also a trapezium which is this portion here so the trapezium is here this is your trapezium all the way out that's your trapezium and this is your triangle your triangle 
which is this. That's your triangular portion of your roof and this is the trapezoidal portion of your roof. And it's also on the opposite side. Now, in order to calculate the area, we have to calculate the area of the triangle and the area of the trapezium. So to calculate the area of the triangle, so if you should if you should pull out this triangular portion, so it will look something like that. This distance is twenty four feet and the height is twelve feet. Now, to find the area of this triangle, it is half base times height. So the area of triangle is equal to half base times height. So the area is going to equal to a half base which is 24 feet times the height which is 12 feet and that works out to be 144 square feet but because there is two triangle two triangles we have one one at the top and one at the bottom we have to times this 144 square feet by 2. So this works out to be 288 square feet for the triangle portion of the roof. Now I'm going to work out the trapezoidal portion of our roof and the trapezoidal portion if we should pull out the shape of the trapezium it is going to look something like this it is going to look something like that let's draw it a little bit better so the trapezoidal portion is going to look something like that and the so this portion is going to be 34 feet and this portion is going to be 10 feet and by the way these are actual measurements because I've drawn this up in AutoCAD and dimension it to get the accurate dimension so these dimensions are accurate dimension so this portion is 10 feet 0 inches 10 feet 0 inches so to calculate the area of this trapezium and of course we know that this length is 16 feet 0 inches so to calculate the area of trapezium and the area of trapezium is half the sum of the parallel sides times the height. So the height here from this point of the roof out to this out to the eave is 12 feet. So this point here is 12 feet, 0 inches. So the area of a trapezium is half the sum of the parallel sides times the height half the sum of the parallel sides times the height so the area of trap is going to equal to a half times the sum of the parallel sides so this 10 feet side is 
parallel to this 34 feet side. So it's going to be 34 plus 10 and the height is going to be 12 feet times 12. And this works out to be 264 square feet. So the area of this trapezoidal, of this trapezium, is going to work out to be 264 square feet. But you have to take into consideration that this trapezoidal portion, we have it on two sides. On this side and on this side. So we have to times this 264 by 2. And this works out to be 528 square feet. So, in order to get the total square footage of roof, so the total area of roof is going to equal to 288 square feet plus 528 square feet and this works out to be 816 square feet so the total square area of your roof is 816 square feet so if you want to know how much if you should ask the roof if ask the roofing company to furnish you with the amount of roofing tiles to cover this roof they are going to ask you how much square footage and you have the square footage calculated of 816 square feet now to measure roof, roof is measured in squares, right? So one square, one square is equivalent to 10 feet by 10 feet, which is 100 square feet. So if you want to find out how much square is in this 816 square feet so that is going to equal to 816 square feet divided by a hundred square feet that is going to equal to 8.16 squares so 8.16 squares so if you're charging to do the roof, if you're a tradesman and you're charging to do the roof per square, it works out by it works out to be 8.16 square to do a roof of that dimension. So to wrap this up, if you get your roof plan, the first thing you should do is to observe your roof plan. Now, if the measurement is not given on the drawings, you can actually take your tape measure and if you observe the scale, the scale is 1 in 50 equal quarter inch equal 1 foot 0 inches. So, every quarter inch on your tape measure represents 1 foot 0 inches. So you physically take your plan and you measure all these distances to observe or to achieve the dimension. You physically measure it with your, how do you do? You just count, you, you, you put, the, you put the, the tape measure and whatever you want to measure and count how much quarter inch you get and that will equivalent to the amount of foot. And you do that process to obtain any dimension you want to calculate the area of your roof. If you do not have a tape measure, you should have a scale rule 
and you look for quarter inch on your scale rule and you carry out the same procedure. So I know that roof can be technical and it can come with various shapes but the two primary areas that I've observed by experience when you're dealing with roof design is just trape trapezium and triangle. So if you can find the area of your triangle and your area of your tra trapezium, you should be able to calculate the total area of the roof that is given on your, on your, on your project. Some roof design is very technical, so you have to take your time, break it up into different different trapezium and, and, and triangle, and calculate the area of the roof. So that is it for this video. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Do remember if you're a first time watcher of this channel to subscribe. I know many people have been watching the videos and they're not subscribing, but it is up to you. But I'm just imploring you to subscribe and I will see you in another video upload. Enough respect. Take it easy.